in doing the business of the prayer of petition there must there must there must be a legal basis for that transaction in the word of god because you will present your strong reasons you don't get your result in the prayer of petition because you cried a lot of people everything they want to pray about they start crying and then they also taught them religiously if you wake up around 12 midnight and you pull all your clothes and you pray outside naked there is no way you will not get answers <laughs> so they are waiting for 12 o'clock the moment is 12 o'clock they pull out their clothes they go outside and stand before the moon and they begin to cry you are not an astrologer It may work for some people, but there's no basis for it in the world. So don't use testimonies that are not word based to determine how your life is wrong. You may be taking a risk. Even if somebody gets a result by it, thank God. Maybe when the person was doing it, her faith was released. You may be doing it, your faith may not be released. What God answered is the faith, not the ritual. So don't build your life around rituals. Build your life around what works. When you want to do the business of petitioning, make sure there is a basis in the scripture that covers it. If I want to come for a crusade, for instance, in Kumasi, and it's a rainy season, I know there are many farmers that are trusting God for rain. I won't just decree and say rain will not fall that day. The man of stature has spoken. No. I will come to the Lord. And I will tell the Lord. I will bring strong reasons. First, because he sent us to all the worlds. And now it is time to come to Kumasi. Your spirit is the one leading us. And your word has said it. So nothing can stand against that which you want to do. Because this is in your agenda. If I can produce a scriptural basis for why it shouldn't rain, then even if the cloud be dark, the rain will not drop. Don't just take steps in life because you heard a story. Find out what is the basis so that when crisis come, you will have a weapon to fight with. Many people are going to fight. They don't have weapons in the spirit. So they assume that it's because, because it's God. God will not allow us to, 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 to be put to shame. God will not allow his name to be rubbish. God cannot be mocked. You will fail. God will still be God. Because the truth is that God cannot be mocked. That's why even when you fail, it's still God. I know why I'm saying this. Because, you know, mysteries are subjective. So when we begin to teach mysteries, people hear it and infer a lot of things and go and do. I heard the story of A.A. Allen. He came before a demonized person and said, I am A.A. Allen. And the demon left. I don't know by what he did that. I don't know if the Holy Ghost covered him that day like a canopy and he was sensing the Holy Spirit. I don't know. So if I'm coming to a demonized person, I won't come and say, I am Michael Oroko. The demon may kick you. But I know a thousand times, if I come in the name of Jesus, if I come in the name of Jesus, even if that demon was violent, in the name of Jesus, it must go down. Maybe if the anointing is upon me and my faith go radical, I can come and blow and the demon will go out. But I can't teach it as a doctrine. Because I will set up a generation. So before you do petition, you must have a biblical basis for your argument. Because petition is a legal plea for legal demands. Everything about petitioning is legalistic. So when you come for petitioning, you are coming with legal grounds. And the legalities of the spirit realm is the word of God. Number two, when you are praying the prayer of petition, you must assume a legal disposition, not an emotional disposition. 
the prayer of petition is not done in the church it's done in the courtroom so you must sustain a legal a legal mentality you will argue your case you will fight you will drag you will insist until you get the result why in the prayer of faith you make a decree and things happen when it comes to the prayer of petition even if you pray and it doesn't happen you will refuse I used one scripture before it didn't work I'll take two more scriptures if two scriptures don't work I'll take four more scriptures I'll take seven scriptures I will keep arguing because the result you get in the prayer of petition is subject to your skill in argument you may be right but you may lose if you don't have the skill for legislation and litigation legislation in that you know the laws of the spirit litigation in that you know how to enact those law it is spiritual jurisprudence so you don't get your result just because you are right you get your result because you know how to argue it out I can't be barren I can't because your word said none shall be barren I am your child I am in your word I am in my season it's not possible even if the whole witch is in Ghana stands up against you, you argue your case. You may go to the doctor and they say, sorry, your womb is ruptured. I will come back and tell God, you said, as thou knowest not how the bones are formed in the womb of her that is with child. That is how you do not know the ways of God. So one of your ways must manifest. So you are never disadvantaged in the prayer of petition. So long as you can argue your case, you can get your result. So when it comes to the prayer of petition, we pray, we sing, we shout, we fight. By all means, we must get the verdict we are looking for. Because it's a courtroom reality. And the reason it has to be so is because there are many wheels involved. There are many circumstances that is tied to people that is involved. So as you are arguing, somebody else is arguing. The Bible told us a story in 1 Kings chapter 3. It said God told Israel to go and utterly destroy the Amalekites. And when Israel went to battle, the Bible said the king, he charged out with 700 of his best men and he couldn't break through. When he saw that it was not working, he said he took his first son that was heir apparent to the truth and he slammed him on the wall as a sacrifice. And the Bible said instantly the indignation of God turned against Israel. Israel. God was the one that told Israel to go to battle but somebody else have brought a bigger sacrifice so if you don't understand the intelligence of spiritual argument and engagement you can never win why is the prayer of petition more important than the prayer of faith because virtually everything in your life somebody else will be involved so beyond just making declaration you must also master how to argue your case and the way to argue your case is by the word. so the third point about prayer of petition is that you must have your strong reasons have your strong reason in isaiah chapter 26 verse 43 chapter 43 verse 26 it said put me in remembrance of my word bring my word to me bring my word to me let's on the strength of your ability to bring me into remembrance let's argue these things out let's argue it out as I am like this, if I fail in this life, then Kai, we have to think of how that will happen. Because even when you are obviously disadvantaged, see, there are many situations where I was disadvantaged. I checked, I didn't have any merit. I now stood up and said, I am in Christ. And Christ is perfect. His sacrifice is perfect. If I'm condemned, Christ will be condemned. And if Christ is condemned again, it's called the law of double jeopardy. And because Christ can't be condemned again, and I'm intrinsically connected to Christ, I must prevail. See, you must look for a strong reason, by all means. That's why men of prayer don't know how to give up. When you step into prayer, or when the spirit of prayer truly comes upon you, the first thing it will make out of you is a warrior. You must master how to fight. So the prayer of petition is on the premise of God's word. The prayer of petition is a courtroom scenario. The prayer of petition involves presenting your strong reason. Many cannot present their strong reasons. So they give up too quickly. I don't know how to give up. The Bible said some died in faith. Not obtaining the promise. You know what it means? They fought in their last breath. 
and even while they were dying they said they didn't lose because they don't die the righteous translate so when I'm fighting this battle and I can't take over when I leave this body I will join the cloud of witnesses and continue the fight that's why when they killed Stephen they thought it was over the spirit fell on Paul we are fighting the battle doesn't end it's either you are on the visible side or you are on the invisible side and if I'm fighting and my breath can carry me to the end the moment I don't need breath anymore I will join the invincible army and the battle will continue by all means I must get the verdict so you must master how to bring your strong reason in Hosea 14 verse 2 he said carry with you words I'm sharing this thing with you today so you will know how to fight those things that you have given up on you will go back and tell the devil he who fights and runs away needs to fight another day I have come back <laughs> there was a battle that we were fighting here seven years ago I went for training and back so what did you say? Did you say cancer will kill me? I repeat it again. <laughs> did you say because my grandfather was poor and my father was poor, me too I will be poor? I, I want to understand. What were you saying again? When you come with understanding, even the devil will run. It's called the prayer of petition. Do you see why? Only babes are persuaded to study the word of God because they don't know these things are weapons. They are weapons. When we sit on the scripture, we are not reading to go and preach. No, the journey is great. I'm looking for words. I'm looking for words. I'm looking for words because there are many mountains to climb. There are many hurdles to jump over. There are many wicked men that will gang up against you. Did you not read about Paul? The Bible says 40 men took an oath and said they will not eat or drink until Paul dies. Paul, Paul that will write 1 Corinthians, 2 Corinthians, the Paul that will write Romans, Paul that will write 14 scripture. You say Paul should die? <laughs> Which Paul? You don't know how many people have stood up against you, you are not aware. As I'm talking to you now, there are people that have taken it upon themselves that they must discredit me. Accusations upon accusation. But when I go into my bedroom, I lift up my hands. He that is in me is greater than he that is in the world. For everywhere I go, I emit the savour of his we. I am the fragrance of God. I carry the presence of God. People don't, they can't do without me. They need me. Even if hate is rises up against me, I will stand. For though the enemy comes in like a flood, the Spirit of God will lift up a standard against them. He say, Him that cast the wood shall be endangered thereby. Him that dig up the pit, they shall fall. He say, Gather round, you shall scatter. Take counsel together. It shall not stand. For God is in our midst. The whole world was against Jesus. He still succeeded. The whole world. The whole world. Him that diggeth a pit shall fall in. Him that keepeth the wood shall be endangered thereby. He said, gather together. You will scatter. He said, take counsel. It shall not stand. For our God. He said, our miss. Me. Meloka Kasisa. Farake Boboa. Idina Gaitoa. Vio Rakaka Ziza Zenzele Kato Barakaka Tiato Bepa Ziza Tatatoa Merakone. Sometimes, as I'm praying, then the Holy Ghost comes, and what the Holy Ghost does is that He opens the window of eternity, and the Holy Ghost takes me into 20 years from where I am, and then I check that 20 years later, that thing I called warfare was promotion for me. So I begin to follow what the Holy Ghost showed me. I take this step, take that step, take this one, take this one, take this one, take this one, take, take, take.
the day you say he's a liar god is no longer with me the holy ghost now come and say go and do a crusade and as i come i see crutches and then that crutches become a testimony that what you said was a lie because god is still with him is that it must be heartfelt you can cross your leg and pray the prayer of faith not the prayer of petition the prayer of petition must tamper with your heart he said the effectual fervent prayer of the righteous man availeth much now this is where I told you that intensity is a weapon there are many prayers you can pray lying on your bed not when you are arguing when you are arguing sometimes you have to take off your shirt and take off your singlet only boxer will be enough because while you are praying wah 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 ever there oh 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 kakatoa bataka bataka barakada enoa 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 oh shakate berakwa Sometimes, when you start praying the prayer of petition, the Holy Ghost wants you to uproot something. Something has been buried. The Holy Ghost wants you to uproot it. Because you can't go to your village. The Holy Ghost will tell you if you can go deep in prayer and you go deeper than what was planted, you can uproot that thing. So what the Holy Ghost will make you do is you go and knee on the wall. And as you face the wall, you are not praying, you are digging. <laughs> when you finish you have uprooted something because you're stepping to mysteries because when it becomes heartfelt you leave your body and you enter your spiritual frequency that's where true prayer begins yako baraka evevone zayandate ekuole modwa kave ezozani takwone ila kamata amaradi atonata avavone erona kaka manada kode soada imomo ataka bere badi atoto balakata balakoda fighting you don't talk to anybody it's a waste the people you talk to will still go back and lie against you forget it there are too many angels waiting for command there are spirits of just men that have fought that battle some ancient being need to talk to you because what you are facing now Enoch faced it 
what you are facing now elijah faced it what you are facing now john faced it what you are facing now paul faced it so instead of talking to a man that doesn't know what to do go to the altar and while you are praying john will tell you they fought me they cast me to the island of patmos but when i was in patmos this is what i did and as i was in the spirit on the last day i heard a trumpet i heard a sound as of a trumpet and as i turned i was in zion Melakato, Jesus in the name of Jesus sometimes the only crime you will commit will be the fact that you are the best mediocre people who don't want to excel they have no problem with failing but the moment you begin to shine everybody makes you their enemy you turn to the left they stab you you talk to the right they insult you you go forward they gossip you you come backward there's nobody to talk to then you say what do i do as you go to the altar then paul will show up and say i was also the best when i started writing scripture they wanted to kill me i couldn't enter jerusalem they wanted to slaughter me this is what you do i was in arabia once upon a time i took a retreat and i entered arabia he said come to arabia in arabia jesus will appear to you and they will teach you things that will transcend your generation so while you go to pray suddenly your spirit comes out of your body and you find yourself in an island in zion and god begins to download things begin to download things begin to download things somebody should pray in the holy ghost Kai. Jesus can I tell you something sometimes you are in one location and it was all right until the season of transition came where David is supposed to become a king and then hell will break loose and then you don't know why suddenly everything turns sore and it look as if you're about to die don't worry when you begin to pray suddenly David will begin to whisper from Zion and tell you do you know cave adulam do you know a cave called adulam he said come there you know what this man will do they will disconnect everybody from you they will discredit your name they will want to destroy you so that you go and become obsolete because their joy is to see you destroyed but when you know that once upon a time david ran away for his life and the only place david found was a cave called adulam and the only people that came to him were 400 broken and battered men but while he was in Atula, he found a gate to heaven and suddenly broken men battered men that came to david a point came the bible said eliaza the son of dodo eliaza the son of dodo 
they con disconnected the captains from him but there is an Eliezer that comes in the disguise of a poor man there is an Eliezer that comes in the disguise of a battered man as you find the doula you will find the sound of heaven and as you find the sound of heaven you can change a battered man to a warrior and he said David his host daily men joined themselves to him until his host became like the host of God you want to pray tonight there is a journey in the spirit there's a journey there's a journey join me as we travel join me as we travel Maracoda 